Hello, I'd like to introduce you to CosmoConsult Quality Assurance. It's an add-on for Microsoft Business Central. And what we see here is uh, inventory overview. We see here some details about the lots, um, for existence the external lot number and the status of the lot. So the availability for postings. And we see also the retest date. We have here a specific one, which is uh, the coconut butter with 300 kg in inventory without a retest date. And what I like to do is now to proceed uh, with a retest. Create a retest order um, to confirm the request. It's created now an incident and we will find the incident here in the filtered view for the created test incidents. We see here um, that there are a document how to proceed with um, sample taking for existence. We have also maybe an SOP in the background for sample handling and taking. We see here that we need to proceed with three samples. So three samples will be taken. And we have also some planning data. So when is the operation planned, scheduled here for the starting and the ending date time. In detail, what we have at the moment, it's in status created. I release this now. And so at least one is accepted disappear here in the filtered view and is now on the ongoing test. And here we have the new one added. We see the same uh, starting and ending time. And again, the three are now in status value recording. Now to add our measurements in value recording. I move here to the value recording worksheet and this summarize all the um, needed measurements. So we have here on the first, well, maybe we add also the, the orders so that we see these are um, in the background, each of the samples. So sample for six, for seven, for eight, and each of them has two um, test properties to verify. So. I enter here OK for the acceptance and 16 for the detection rate. Next sample is also OK and the detection rate is maybe 17.1. And uh, the last sample is uh, acceptance OK, but detection rate is uh, something strange, something like 21.7. Why it's strange, you will see that there is also in the background verified against an expected value, like the uh, output here is OK and expected value is OK, so it's accepted here. But we look here to the tolerances, upper limit and lower limit, we see uh, on the last this will not match with the tolerance, so it's out of spec here for the last sample. So what will be the result on it? So if we uh, will have a closer look, we see first sample, okay, second sample, okay, third sample, not okay. Next step will be to proceed with, not anymore with uh, value recording because everything is added to the system here. Now we finish this operation and this is for archiving the sampling process here. So. First of all, first sample finished, second uh, sample finished, and third one also finished. Yes. Why oh, is not updated? I do it again. Finished. Yes. So disappears in the overview, and I move now to the filtered view of finished test incidents. The last one is this one where we have still worked on it. We see this is not okay. And what we can do now on a finished one is to move to test decisions. So this is about the release process. Now we have this, um, it's still in quarantine. As the very beginning you have seen, it was not in quarantine, it was released. But now it's in quarantine because we have this testing operation here. Now somebody uh, needs to approve and decide what should be 
done with this lot. And uh, in this case, we say, okay, three hundreds, I don't know, maybe something different. Two hundreds are released. Post this, create and post. Yes, no comments on it. And on the second, even no additional comment. So what happens, and I delete this filter and gets this records again. So what the system has done is now we have split it a lot. So to keep identity of the, um, the, the status so that we are able to identify the 100 kilogram in current time and 200 kilogram in status release, we did a lot split. This can be done here um, automatically or um, manually, but in this case, uh, it will, to ensure the identity of the, uh, the lots and the status in combination, we have this lot split. So something happens with these 100, and these 100 is now blocked. And again, posted, and yes, no comment on it, and accepted. So what we have now in inventory, is 200 kg in um, in released mode and 100 is in status blocked. And there is a lot of controls uh, around the status. So what is possible in postings and so on with the status. But this comes in another session. So that's for day today to give you an idea how to perform and retest in Microsoft Dynamics Business Central. Thank you for your attention.